Okay guys, you're welcome back to our class once more. In this electricity experiment, we are going to be determining the resistance of a metallic conductor. In this case, the conductor on this potentiometer, or what we call the potentiometer wire. So we want to determine the resistance of this particular conductor. Our apparatus for this particular experiment is the potentiometer here, the key, a voltmeter here is a 0 to 3 voltmeter, a cell of about 3 volts. If you have 2 volts, you can still use. Here is a jockey, and then we have a 2 ohm resistor, and then an ammeter. We are using the 0 to, to, to 3. You can see I connected to 3 here. So we are using 0 to 3, not 0 to 5. All right. So we are going to set up this experiment as you are seeing it already now. Um, on the diagram there. Now, first of all, we are going to connect this and then find the initial voltmeter reading and the ammeter reading. Now, I'd like that to take notes. This is one of the challenges that we have when we are conducting this experiment. And I intentionally had to show you this because it will be important for you to note. Now, see that the voltmeter I have here has a zero error reading. You can see that the pointer is way below the zero mark. So it means that you have to take note of this or you completely replace it to avoid errors in the experiment. So this is one of the precautions you must have to take while conducting your experiment. You say I avoided zero error in the reading of this experiment. So I'm going to replace this voltmeter with one that is that, that doesn't have zero error to avoid this error during the experiment. All right, so here is my new voltmeter, as you can see. You can see no zero error whatsoever. So I'm going to proceed. You have the diagram there already, so I'm going to simply going to connect um, the, the experiment as it is there in the diagram. So from the key, we are going to connect this key to this end, and then we loop it across the same way it is in the diagram. So here is the connection as it is in the diagram. You can see that we have three wires here. One to the jockey, that is the jockey here, two to the voltmeter, and then the other to the key. The one to the key ran through the cell, through the two ohm resistor, through the ammeter, and to the other end, while the one to the voltmeter ran straight to the other end as well. So we have two connections at the other end. The other one is just free, which is connected to the jockey. This jockey we are going to be using to tap the potentiometer wire. So this is the connection as it is in the diagram. So the next instruction would be that we should find the initial voltmeter reading and the initial ammeter reading when the jockey is not making contact with the potentiometer wire. So you notice that our key is off. So it means that by the time I plug this, you know, there should be a deflection both on the, on the voltmeter and the ammeter, even though the jockey is not making contact with the potentiometer wire. So let us find out whether that is the case. So here, with my key, I, I put in the key here. So once that is done, let us see what happens. So you can see here, we have the voltmeter reading to be 1.4, though it's just fluctuating small. So here is 1.4. Here is the ammeter reading here at zero. We are reading the downscale. So here is our, our reading here. You see, this is 0 0.3, that is 0 0.42, 0 0.42, according to the, each small division there is 0 0.06. So if you add it up, it's still fluctuating, but it's still just there, 0 0.42, that is the reading on the ammeter reading. While this one is at 0 point, I'm sorry, 1.4, sorry, it's, it's 1. 1.4. So you can see this is our initial reading. You see the jockey, no, not making contact with the potentiometer wire here. 1.4 and 0 0.42. So we are going to take note of this um, as our initial voltmeter reading and our initial ammeter reading. I will remove this so that I can save my battery, and then we'll continue. So I'm quickly going to take my readings now with the jockey tapped on the potentiometer wire. So we are starting with the distance of 0 to 30. According to the diagram, you see AK, 30. So here is 0, 
to 30. So I'm going to be tapping the potentiometer, uh, the jockey at point 30. And then I'll take note of the voltmeter reading and the ammeter reading as well. So let me put in my key. The reading here is 0 0.45. At the center there and this is 1.2 proceeding to 40 here you can see here is 0.40 from the zero end and here we have a voltmeter you can see it's at the center mark there so this is 1.15 1.15 as you can see it's just fluctuating but it will return back to the center 1.15 here is the, at the 40 mark while this one has increased 1 to 2, 3.6, 4, 3.6, 4.2, 4.8, 5.1, 0 0.51 rather, 0 0.51 because it's at the center there, 0 0.51. At point 0.50, here is point 0.50 here, this one has reduced again. to 1.05 this is fluctuating just at yes 0 1.05 why this one has increased so you see so this is this is 54 This is 0 0.60. So here is 0 0.60 at point 0 0.9, 0 0.95. Okay, 0 0.9 actually, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and then 0 0.54, 0 0.5. It's actually more than that. Yeah. 0 0.57, just at the center there. Finally, at point 70 here, you see this one. Point 70, you see this one at 0 0.9. And this is approximately 0 0.6 approximately 0 0.6 so that is the result we have gotten so far you know that electricity experiment can be a little bit tedious in trying to get your values but we've succeeded in getting these values so we are going to tabulate these readings and then plot the graph and then we'll look out to see how the graph will look like and then finally we will deduce the resistance of this conductor so here is how our graph, uh, our table looks like. You can see from this table that um, the voltmeter reading V is tabulated alongside the ammeter reading I, both in two decimal places. The L there represents the length of the wire where the jock is being tapped. So in this question, we are asked to plot a graph of V against I, that is the volt potential difference V on the vertical axis, against the current I on the horizontal axis. When that is done, this is how our graph looks like. You can see that the graph of V against I is a negative graph that makes an intercept both the horizontal and the vertical axis. So, deducing our slope, our slope will give us a change in the potential difference V against the change in the current I. So, if we compute based on what we have plotted, you would notice that our calculation here is straightforward and our slope is 2.29 ohms. Also from the graph, if we find the value of V when I is zero, that is to find the value of the potential difference at the point where current is zero, you will notice that that will give you 2.29 as well. So that confirms to you that the voltmeter reading that is the potential difference or the resistance rather is 2.29 which is approximately 2.3 ohms so if we follow from ohm's law which states that current flowing through a metallic conductor 
is directly proportional to the potential difference between it and provided that other physical properties are kept constant. And then you know that we plotted a graph of V against I, meaning that if we follow that, that, this law, making R subject formula where we are going to get V over I, that is exactly what we plotted. It means that our slope value represents the resistance of the wire, which is also confirmed when the current was at the zero amp point. So you can see that this experiment was straightforward. Some of the precautions we took while conducting this experiment, we stated earlier on, was to avoid zero error on both the ammeter and the voltmeter. And then we also ensured that we, uh, we also ensured tight connection during the experiment. And then we avoided parallax error in reading both the ammeter and the voltmeter. We believe that this experiment has been straightforward and of help to you. We'd like that you stay tuned. Please subscribe to our channel to get more of our feeds and remain blessed.